No, the kitty Mew Mew looks blue. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Voltron Legendary Defender, Legendary Blue Lion. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up top here in the corner, we have Voltron, the Legendary Defender himself. Fire Ice Ray! There we have the Blue Lion, Legendary Blue Lion! Hey, this is a show on Netflix! And if you have all five lions, you can form the 16-inch Voltron! On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. Hey, look, it's Lance! And again, if you have all five lions, you can form Voltron! Hooray for things and stuff! And that's basically it for the packaging. So, moving right along, here we have the Blue Lion, piloted by Lance. And let's get in close here so we can look at the details. Um, I feel like this is going to be an ongoing theme with, the, with these reviews, is me saying, the paint is not as crisp and as clean as one would like, and that's definitely the case with the Blue Lion as well. You can see right here on the eye, you can see it's a little bit of... Overspray there on the yellow, kind of overlapping on the black outline there, which looks a little sloppy. The other eye looks good, but that eye just looks a little sloppy. Um, the paintwork, for the most part, on the head is pretty good. Um, I do have some white paint just kind of splotched on the teeth there, which just doesn't look good at all. But yeah, yeah, you can see there is some detail. The inside of the mouth, a little like cannon in there, and going down the neck, you can see you have that detail there, and this is done in that silver plastic, which does look nice. We do have the paws, which are that rubbery material, which I'm assuming is for safety reasons. So the paws, the paws are made of that rubbery material, and you got some black going down the body there. And you have some nice silver paint here on the legs with some black, some more black. And some silver paint here. And again, the rear paws are that rubbery material. And you get some silver right here on the butt. And the tail, again, is that rubbery material with some nice molded detail. And you do get some silver and blue paintwork on the tail itself. And yeah, and articulation wise, the head can move all the way up for transformation. You get a little bit of downward movement. You do get a little bit of side to side. The mouth can open and close. It is spring loaded. And the front legs are on a nice ratchet. They can go forward. They can pretty much go all the way up. They can go back that far. Uh, you have this, I guess you call this a knee joint. I don't know if that technically counts as a knee or an elbow. I don't know, but you have that much forward movement. That much backward movement. You can pretty much just straighten the leg out completely. And the front paw can move up that far and move back that far. Um, you don't get any movement in the body. Uh, the hind legs can move forward that far. They can move back a lot. Pretty much almost do a full 360 there. No outward movement. Uh, you have a hinge at this point right here, which can collapse all the way up for transformation. Again, a nice ratcheting joint. This joint right here can move forward that far, can move back that far. And the paws can move back that far and move forward that far. And the tail, you can't really do too much with, except, you know, like, rotate it. It's pretty much all you're going to do. If you want to change the position of the tail, you're just going to have to, like, heat it up with a hair dryer or something to change the position of the tail. But there you go. Now, the Blue Lion does include a weapon. You do have the Ice Ray right here, which is done in a nice blue and silver. Actually, looks quite nice, quite cool, in my opinion. And you do have a projectile. You do get this transclearance blue chunk of iceness 
right there. And you just plug that in. It's spring loaded. You just push the button up top. And it's actually on a hair trigger. I barely touched it, but there you go. It just, and it shoots fairly well. So there you go. And how you attach it to Blue Lion is you just have these clips on either side, and they just go into these notches on either side of Blue Lion. And you just take it and clip it on, and clip it on, and there's Blue Lion with the weapon attached. So there you have that. You do also include the little speeder with Lance, which as you can see is painted in blue with the lighter blue there for the windshield. You can see Lance is not painted at all. The rest of it is just black, but it's still pretty nicely detailed for being such a small piece. And it is also made of that rubbery material. So you have that. And of course you can store the speeder in the Lion. You just open up its belly and you can see the little outline for it right there. So there's no confusion as to how it's supposed to go in. So you just take the nose cone section, pop that in, and then just push it down and it clips into place. Close that up. And there you have Lance now piloting the Blue Lion. And just for a comparison, here is the Blue Lion with the Yellow Lion. Let me remove this for now. Just so you can see. Oh. Well, they scale with each other. Get them straightened out here. Come on now. Come on. There you go. So they have the blue and the yellow lion together. You can see yellow lion is a little bit bulkier than blue lion. But there you go. So now we have the two lions so far. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, when I reviewed Yellow Lion, I'll get into how to get all these guys into combined mode when we actually get to forming Voltron. So yeah, there is the Blue Lion. Um, you know, just like I said with the Yellow Lion, you know, I, I wish the, the paintwork was a little crisper, a little cleaner. Um, but it is what it is. All in all, though, I still think these are very nicely done. Uh, toys and I am very much enjoying them so there you go so if you would like a blue lion or any other Voltron toys you can always check out bigbadtoystore.com for availability there will be a link in the description down below so check that out you can also check out my Voltron playlist for any reviews you may have missed also linked in the description down below so check that out as well and I think that's it, so don't forget to check out Endgames, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Voltron Legendary Defender Legendary Blue Lion, and this is Engo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, boom in your face! Hey, 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 look, look! It's another one of those lions! You try to tame it! <laughs> okay! Okay, fearless warrior! I'll go tame the little kitty, okay? You just, you just wait right there. I'll be right back! Oh! Oh, are you, are you alright? Although my overall demeanor has not changed, I can assure you... I am in a great deal of pain. Help me. Help me, please. <laughs>